All right, everybody. So here are the exotic bills, man. So here is the hunger right here. And with this build, this is going to be a very damage-based type of build. So we have adrenaline. We're going to be not having a lot of stamina at all. No stamina. So adrenaline, more damage for every stamina missing. Really, really strong. And also, the hunger special, it goes away after a slayer's kill. Or a um, behemoth kill. So literally, the meter just goes away. So you want to make sure you use it as much as you can. Assassin's Frenzy, we get a part break. We're going to get attack speed. Cunning, critical strike chance, and damage. Energize our weapon. Uh, special will recharge way faster, so we get it way quicker. Overpower, more damage against Dagger Behemoths. Berserker, more damage while just dealing damage. So you get, you just stacks up damage and you get more. Rage Hunter, Enraged Behemoths, you do more damage against those. We have Discipline for that Critical Strike chance and damage and that parry. Then we have, so for the Hunger, we have Berserker and Energize on it. Of course, we have Feast, and then we have a Recursive Hilt, so we can casually get those um, the specials, or a little, the Valor, so we can do those moves, or combos. Strike Zeal for that attack speed, we got Energize on it. We have Assassin's Frenzy on the helmet, Adrenaline on the body armor. For the hands, we have Ore Power. Then we have Cunning for the boots. So let's go ahead and move on to our next build, the Hammer, the Molten Edict, man. So here we go, Assassin's Frenzy, Berserker. We have Catalyst on this. We want to use Tonics and do as much damage, much damage as we can. And just do as much mayhem as we can. It's gonna be a really chaotic build, especially using the uh, the little the little um, heavy attack, spew out some balls, those little lava balls. <laughs> then we have Knockout King, extra stagger damage. Then we have Overpower and Sharpen, extra part damage. And um, yeah. We have Strike Zeal with Catalyst on it. Discipline again. On the weapon, we have Berserker Catalyst. Extended Clip, so we have more ammo. Just in case you want to do more um, those little lava balls. You want to spew out more of those. Assassin's Frenzy for the helmet. Sharpen for the body armor. Sharpen for the hands. And Knockout King for the boots. And that's going to be this build right here. Going through these pretty quickly. So you get the gist and get into the gameplay. This is going to be our wounding um, guy hand that does a lot of damage. So, we got Cunning on this. Overpower Predator. Not taking damage will give us 35% extra damage. And it activates after 56 or 15 seconds after not getting hit. Um, Aether Rush. More, um, it, it, it increases the duration and the effects. 50% and 100%. Savagery. Get more damage for his wounded parts. Conduit. Lantern Hold. Attack Speed and sharpen and here we go for the god hand we have sharpen predator on it executioner spearhead which is more uh, damage after getting wounds strike zeal with conduit for the uh we have ore power for a dark watch then for the body armor we have relentless then we have predator then we have relentless and that's going to be for the god hand y'all so you're going to do a lot of wounds with this build. And you're going to be doing a lot of damage as well simultaneously. So that's really good. Then we have our repeaters, man. Now, I didn't really know what should I do with this build. So I decided, you know, let's do some part breaks and get some attack speed with it. And, um, yeah, so we have Assassin's Frenzy on the Conduit. Cunning, Evasive Fury, more attack speed after dodging an attack. Overpower and Sharpen. So, yeah, this is an attack speed type of, uh, um build pretty much we have discipline on this so you're gonna be doing damage of course so we got cunning and sharpen on this of course you have all the regular stuff and then you have the mod lucky magazine extra critical strike chance for every missing round we have strike zeal with conduit assassin frenzy on the helmet sharpen on the body armor for the hands we got cunning and then we have evasive fury for the boots and that's going to wrap it up for these builds go over it real quickly for y'all and, um, yeah, I hope these builds really are good for y'all. hope you can uh, use them well. And I hope they're really strong when y'all use them. And, yeah, so let's get right into the gameplay. Like and subscribe, and let's go.